Hey everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 13th video of our newly created technical series called ServiceNow. So in my last video, we have understood the concept of client script. We have understood what is client script and what are the different types of client script. And I have also shown you in my personal developer instance, how you can create different types of client script and how it works and how, how it helps you uh, in the, you know, in the customization, ServiceNow customization, right? Okay, but if you missed the video, guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the link in the description and also you can find the link right now here on your screen. Okay, so let's see what we are going to learn in today's video. Okay, so we are going to learn today our next customization, which is data policy. Okay, so let's start. So data policy. So data policy, it is used to make fields mandatory or read only in the server end. Okay, so now by the name data policy, it sounds quite similar with the term UI policy that we have already learned, right? So it is guys, it is actually quite similar. I mean, both have the policy word with it and both are applying for ServiceNow customization, but, but there is a big difference. And the difference you can, you know, understand with that line only, that it is used to make fields mandatory and read only, which is possible in UI policy also, but in the server end, not in the client end, right? But UI policy works in the client end only, not in the server end, right? So, also, we will see the difference between the UI policy and data policy in the next slide. Okay, so for the time being data policy is uh, used for creating mandatory field and read only, but from the server end. Okay, not in the form view form only. Okay, and I'll tell you what is the uh, use of the data policy, then you will understand it better, right? So like I said, it is the UI policy, but for the back end. Now, this is the screenshot of creating data policy uh, form view, right? And I'll explain each and every uh, every fields of this form. Don't worry. All right. So let's move on and let's understand what is the difference between UI policy and data policy. The first one already have informed you that UI policy runs in the client side where data policy runs in the server side. Okay. The next one with UI policy, you can do show hide. You remember, right? So we have done with the help of UI policy. Like if I change the category, the service option is uh, not visible. It's hide. So that kind of stuff, we can do that in the UI policy, in the configuration of UI policy in the form, right? Also, we can make the field mandatory or the star, the asterisk box. We have created that also. And finally, read only, right? The field which you cannot edit. But with the help of data policy, you can do either mandatory or either read only. Okay, not show and hide stuff. So that is only possible in the UI policy. That's the another difference you could say. Now, the final one, the final difference by which you will understand the exact difference between UI policy and data policy. As of now, you are quite uh, thinking of both are the same kind of thing, but one works in the server end, but uh, and one works in the client end. But what does it mean? What is the actual difference between them? So let me give you an example, right? So suppose you are having ServiceNow instance in your own company and people are using it. Users are raising their service request or maybe incident from the service portal and stuff like that. They have the access in ServiceNow. So suppose you have some external users or external people who are working for your company, but they do not have the access in ServiceNow or you don't want to give access to service now. So they are from some other department, right? But if they have some problem and if they wants to, wants to get help from your team or your service team, what they can do is that they can raise in incident or request in their environment from the external source, right? And that will come to your service now as an incident or as a ticket, right? So that's the idea. Now, data policy can be applied from external sources like import sets and web services. So suppose they are using some web services like Salesforce or anything or import sets and the data is getting pulled inside of your service now. Then the policy is being checked that if in your instance, for an example, short description is a mandatory field, right? You have created the data policy. And when you are importing the data from external sources like Salesforce or it could be anything, then the short description has to, I mean, it, it has to be provided in your ServiceNow ticket also. Otherwise, so that, that means user has to provide it the same information in their API also or web services also so that it can be reflected in your ServiceNow. So that means what are the mandate if if the fields is field is mandatory then user has to put those information while filling up in the external resources that has to be done 
okay otherwise the data policy will come and it will tell that uh, i mean it the ticket won't create it right that you can do with the help of the data policy when you are trying to pull some data from external sources like import sets or web services that you cannot stop with the help of the ui policy because ui policy just works in the form okay so you can understand that how data policy is different from ui policy now i'll go to my service now instance i will show you one existing data policy which is already there now we can also create data policy that's something you can do in your home uh, as a practice or as a home task you could say but i'll show you one of the important data policy that is there in the incident table and i'll show you how this is working so that you can understand right but unfortunately i won't be able to show you how you know from external web services or stuff how i'm creating ticket but you will understand the concept so i'm here in my service now instance so i will search go to the all section so let's go to the incident table first incident dot list so i'll go to the list view of the incident and you know from here same way like other uh, customization i'll open data policies from here and you can see there is only one data policies by default out of the box is here in the service now and uh, let's open it and let's see what is it and i also will explain you the fields and then we'll create one also don't worry now the form is loaded now you can see this field is applicable in the incident in the incident table okay so then inherit so it is not inheriting from others okay it is also active it is reverse if false if the condition does not match to return false and on the right hand side you can see the differences here now apply to import sets so this rules now let, let let's see first what is the rules then we'll come to that so make close info mandatory when resolve or close so in the meantime i will also open the incident form view to show you where this data policy is applying okay now where is it yeah so the state uh, make close info mandatory when resolve or close so when you are putting the ticket on resolve so so let's try to do that let's choose a user able tutor and then put some let's put let's put some short description test data policy i have to put a assignment group let's put a service desk okay now let's save this ticket first okay and now let's try to resolve that now the state is new so i'll choose resolve and try to i'll try to save the ticket let the form first reload okay and i will try to save the ticket now it is giving me an error saying the following mandatory fields are not filled in resolution code and resolution notes okay and you can see both the star marks is showing right and now if i go to the data policy now this is the one we are working on so this is the one make close and mandatory when the state is resolved or closed when it is going to work when the state is resolved or closed both of the cases now what is the policy rules if you just scroll down here now the rules are here the close code and the close notes that we need to fill up if you if i go back to the incident see the resolution code and resolution notes so that's the one so resolution code you can see mandatory is true read only is leave alone i told you before that in data policy you can either make the field read only or mandatory so here it is working as a mandatory so resolution code is a mandatory field which has to be true close notes is resolution notes is also a mandatory field which has to be uh, the information has to provide it then only you can resolve the incident right right now you can tell me preetam this can be also done with the help of the data policy i'm sorry the ui policy yes the answer is yes but there is a thing if i now scroll up and explain you this options you can see apply to import sets the checkbox is clicked that means it it will work in the incident form like as by using the data policy we can achieve that but also if you try to import something you know from external sources and if if external sources in that case also that this fields resolve resolution notes and resolution code and notes has to be information has to be provided for that then only the ticket can be closed in the in your service now end okay that's from the external sources 
apply for soap also now the last one is very very important use as ui policy on client and the check box is clicked that means this policy that you have to provide the resolution notes and the resolution code while resolving or closing an incident that is true also for the from the client end and that is why in the client end sorry where is the incident yeah so in the client end these two fields are showing star because in client because this is the ui policy is working here and making these two fields are mandatory and it is also working as a data policy so if from outside if someone try to resolve the ticket in their web services with the help of their website services or import sets then they have to provide the resolution notes and resolution code so that it updated in service now instance because as per the data policy rule you cannot resolve or close the incident without giving the information on resolution code or resolution notes right now i'll show you some interesting thing now if i go back and now i i want this as a data policy i want okay i don't want as a ui policy so now if i uncheck it right now and save it you'll see what happen so now this is the data policy it will work i mean again you have to fill up those information uh, before saving it as a resolved or closed ticket but it is not working as a client end it is just working in a server end now you'll see what happened okay now i'll go back to the incident form and i will just reload this form You see now, if I just go down here, if I go to the resolution information, now this resolution code and resolution notes are not asterisk field or star field anymore, because I have just unmark, uncheck the use as a UI policy on client. So we have unchecked it. That's why it is not showing as a mandatory field. But now the question is, now can I resolve this incident without providing this information? Now it is not showing mandatory. So let's check that. Let me put the information resolve again and try to save the ticket. You can see we cannot resolve the ticket. Why? It is showing the error data policy exception. The following fields are mandatory resolution code and close notes. That means let me go back to the incident again. So as data policy works in the server end, not in the client end that's why in the server end it is working and that's why it is giving an error that you have to put this information but it is not working in client end that's why the mandatory field it's not showing here and the error is coming from as a data policy right so that would be it guys this is all about data policy i request you to practice it in your personal developer instance and let me know in the comment section if you have any problem and don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and also share with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thank you see you in my next video Bye bye